peace and quiet. There's nobody here to distract me and I can finally figure out this problem with my business. How am I gonna get this to grow? Like, how am I gonna get out of this? KJ. <sighs> yes, Pops. What are you doing here? You just, you just chilling here by yourself doing nothing? You don't got no girls or nothing like that? No, where's the business, man? I thought you were running the business. What happened? Um, I'm, I'm on a break right now. I've been super stressed out with the business, so I came here to relax. Is, is there anything you want, Dad? You just look bored, man, sitting in this super hot water, just sitting here boiling. You know what? I got a great idea. Me and you, guys trip. We haven't been on one in a minute. Let your old man show you how it's done. Let me, let me show you how to party, man. And I have a house down in Vancouver. We could really get snowy with it. You know, snowboarding, snow bunnies, you know? You know what they say. If it ain't snowing, I ain't going. <laughs> Dad, you and mom's divorce isn't even final yet, like. Why do you want to take a vacation? This seems like the worst time. It's going to make you look ridiculous. You think I'm going to be here just stuck up on your mom while she's being ungrateful? Nah, man, I got a life to live. I'm a young bull just like you. Actually, I see a lot of me in you. You know what I'm saying? So we, we should really get down together like how we used to back in the old days. All right, Dad, I'm calling your bluff. What is this? This is some, some weird, like, midlife crisis you're going through? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. That's one of the negatives of you knowing me too well. I literally need you right now, KJ. You're like the only one I have. I have to talk to somebody about this. Dad, I would, but I just got back home. Like, you gotta let me spend some time with the family first. Buddy, I would never tear you away from the family. I just really, really need you right now. You're like my best friend. <sighs> um... You did what? Yeah, I know. I messed up. I messed up. Tanya, no way you thought this was a good idea. How do you think Clay's gonna react to this? Whoa, one thing we cannot do is tell Clay. You really think I'm not going to tell Clay? What you did was wrong. You can't just let him walk around without knowing. Fine. If you're going to tell Clay, what do you think Marcel's going to think about you talking to that guy yesterday? I can't believe you do something like that to me, Tanya. That's really messed up. I can't believe you're going to be a bad little sister and tell on me. For a minute, I actually thought you was cool. But now, you prove to me that you're not. Fine. I'll keep your secret, but you just lost a sister. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, here we go. Got him. Mom, I don't think my controller is on. Aw, oh, sweetie, why do you think your controller is off? Is it because I'm winning? Well, it's a single player game, so. This is mommy time right now. Just sit back and enjoy the show. Hey, mom, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, give me a few seconds, honey. I'm playing the game right now. But it's kind of important. I'm on a time limit here. Okay, hold on, KJ. I'm at a really high level. This is super important. Mom, you could pause the game. Uh, okay, come on. Dante, make sure you don't touch mommy's game. Okay, I won't. Psych. Okay, Mar, what did you want to talk about? I hope it's something good. Maybe you and Olivia are getting back together? Or you're finally going to give me a grandchild? I knew you would be the first one. Whoa, where did you hear this from? Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Now I have to think of a grandma nickname. I don't know how you'll feel about this, but I'm just going to rip the band-aid off. I'm going to Vancouver with Dad. What? Are you serious? You just got back home and your dad's trying to take you away again? Ugh, this is such a Kamar thing to do. He's so selfish and inconsiderate, that's why I can't do this anymore. What if I want to spend time with you? What about your siblings? See, I knew you would react like this, but mom, trust me, I know dad's mental state and he's not in a good one right now. This divorce isn't easy on him either, mom. He's also losing the love of his life. Now, I know this is a lot for you too, but dad doesn't really have any friends. He has nobody to lean on. So I'm just going to have his back. I would do the same exact thing for you. I know this is hard for you too, mom, but you should have seen the look on his face. He was genuinely scared. He was sad. He, he was shaken up. I've never seen him like this before. If anybody's going to be there for him, it's going to be me. We're like best friends. Ugh, I'm not a big fan of it, but I see where you're coming from. I know how important your dad's relationship is to you. If you have to do this, then go ahead. Thank you for understanding, Mom. You were always the understanding parent. I love you. Of course, honey. I love you. Just be safe. And take this big-ass coat off. You're not in Vancouver yet. Man, this is fashion. This is straight from Virgil. Who's Virgil? All right, mom, that's my cue. I got to go. I'll call you as soon as we land. Hey, yo, gangers, what's going on? It's your boy AOA and today we're playing Kamar's Life Season 2, Episode 2, the series finale season. Oh, my God. I don't know how I'm actually going to function when this show actually ends. I don't call this a series anymore, LP. I call it a show. When this show ends. But yeah, who would have expected a divorce? You, that's something you wouldn't expect in a million years. I can't believe that. Especially from Aya and Kamar. 
That is not something I would even predict. It. Hey man, something about that ace. He always got a little something up his sleeve. Also, I do want to say too, my fault for being gone again. I hate doing that coming back and going thing, but I've been in such a weird position in life lately. It's, it's so weird. We'll talk about it later on in the video, but you guys already know what to do. Whether you're older or new, make sure to like the comment and the subscribe button. We're done. Hey. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. This is the first time in a very long time that they, what are you, you getting old? He's too old. Okay, from strenuous activity. Kamara, you're that old, my G? But look at us, man. We're here in Vancouver. Let me show you out of the house, man. The cabin that Kamar has out here. Kamar has a couple of different um, residential locations. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say real estate. He got, a, he got, he owns some real estate in different states. You know what I'm saying? He balling, balling. It ain't, no, it ain't no childish money. It's real money. It's grown man money. You know what I'm saying? It's elder money. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we pretty much got land grab money. We getting land grab money. Yeah, we getting land grab money. Okay, not me though, because my headset's still broken. But um. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else headset could do that. That's the thing I'm trying to tell y'all. Nobody else got the 360 rotation on the headset. Damn, come on, you getting that old? Okay, he's that scared. I thought he was getting old to the point where he was going to sleep early. I'll say, bro, you got like 60% left of energy. Oh, my fault. You got 70% left of energy, and you about to go to sleep at 10 a.m.? <laughs> Damn, nursing home calling, buddy. Nursing home's calling. But this cabin right here, one thing I wanted to show you about this cabin. I'm gonna give y'all a tour of it pretty soon, but look at this cat. Oh my God. This is just about as beautiful as a cabin gets, isn't it? Look at the snow. Shout out Vancouver. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Vancouver. Look at the water's frozen in the back. They got their own thing to the boat. The boat snowed over. But it's all right though. Look at that heavy snow. You can't beat these views. This is serenity as, at its best right here. For some reason, Gabriella keeps calling KJ. I don't get it. I'm feeling kind of lucky. A geek on is on. You want to try and win? Lady, do you have a crush on me? Like, you got to stop. You're married to Cam or whatever you and Cam are now at this point. They're not even together no more. She just got a good little bag off Cam, but y'all see Cam soon. First thing y'all should do, watch a movie with each other. Watch watch Sims of the Dead with KJ. There it is. That's the first thing y'all should do. Y'all just say, look, she's calling again. Hey, Kamara, I've been thinking about getting to know Giancarlo Russell better as a friend. To be honest, I'm not sure, lady. Leave me alone. Go get a hobby. Go pick up knitting. Go pick up, like, go pick up basketball. Go pick up some type of hobby. This would be crazy. Any of y'all be married, too? Look at that. The good views here. We gotta set something on fire. Let, let's set something on fire. And Kamara's such in this older stage now where I just wanna take pictures of everything that he does. Like, he's really at the stage now where, like, he's gonna die soon, bro. He's gonna die soon. But touching back on the Kamara and Aya divorce, they are in a really weird position right now. Like, they're in a position that they didn't expect because Aya thought at this current point in their life, they would be a lot more so into building the family and staying with the family and hanging out with the family more kamara is still on the more so on the more the the mindset that he need to, he need to rack up he need to get some more money he need to put the family in position to be good for generation after generations even though they are like they're pretty much on their way there they're pretty much there right now and they're all set kamara just wants to make sure that they're super super fine and i don't really blame kamar for that honestly but you do have to know as a dad that you have to dedicate some time to your family i don't think kamar is an absent father, I don't think he's a deadbeat dad, super far from a deadbeat dad. But I think he just needs to pay a little more attention. And sometimes all fathers need to do this, sometimes all parents need to do sometimes. I'm not just gonna say fathers. That's sometimes all parents need to do sometimes. Just pay a little more attention, you know what I mean? And I always put a message with all of my stories. Instead of watching this movie, how about you go pee, bro? Be peeing yourself. Y'all know that old people bladder crazy. But yeah, I always put a message in all of my stories. I'm always trying to like portray a little message or try to get a good word out. Something I want people to pay attention to. And for me, this time, it was not really so much of a lesson that I taught with this one, but kind of an experience that I went through on my own. Missing a party opportunity. And sorry, bro. Gabriella's like 80 years old. You can hang out with some younger women later. Or some better cougars, I'm not gonna lie. But the main thing, is that burger old? Where'd you where'd you find that? Okay, that's chimmy, it's not a burger. You just found that burger house. Oh my God, this plate's a, okay. Wow, the house came up, well, all right. Yeah, and for this one, honestly, I related this one to myself. This was, um, I was going through a really tough period back during um, COVID-19. My parents, I'm about, to spend, I'm about to share something really personal here. This is how you know I'm getting a little more comfortable on camera because now I'm telling personal experiences. Oh my God, I'm about to trauma dump. Listen, trauma dump warning everybody. So listen, if you don't like trauma dump, skip. Skip a good 30, 45. 
Skip the next 10 minutes because I might ramble on about this. Yeah, so 2020, my parents actually split up. So I was going through a really weird time after living with them and seeing them together for the past 18 years. It was so different for me seeing them actually split up. I think that's kind of what the kids are going through now, especially the teen girls, the twins. They're seeing that after being with their being with their mom and dad for so long that they're finally splitting up. It's super weird to them. So it's going to be an adjustment for them, um, kind of like it was an adjustment for me. And this is a real life scenario. This is something that you can't make up. This is stuff that actually happens to people. And I kind of wanted to relate this one to me. So this one, this this series is hitting home a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to cry though because I'm a thug. <laughs> Bro, I don't want to waste the day away. Y'all out here eating chimney burgers I found outside. Let's go snowboard or something. We got a good little day plan for y'all. I don't want to sit here just, just, just crying about past events that happened to me. Because I ain't going to cry. I'm a thug. I can't lose no street cred in these streets. You know what I'm saying? I got these people watching me. You know what I'm saying? I got these people watching me. Listen. Hey, Grant. Grant Roderick. Ro Ro Rodiak? Grant Rodiak. Everybody at that EA office. Holla with your boy. Rock with your boy. We can really get Sims 5 turnt. Here we go, and we're at the Ski Bunny Slopes. Kamar got that old man bladder. Like, he's been having to pee since he got here. You couldn't pee earlier, old man. Go ahead and pee, man. Jeez, bro. Look at a grown old ass man doing the pee pee walk. They ain't no, they ain't no way to change that. What's going on? You ain't cold, miss? Nanami Ido, you're crazy. You, where the rest of your clothes at? Oh my god. Oh, okay. You know, you know why she's not cold, too. I'm not, she got a messy jersey on. You know why she not cold too. I'm not gonna say it, but let me see what she turned in. What she changed into? You not cold in that either. That's the outerwear. Are you sure? Oh, she just stole too. Oh, she a felon. All right, she a felon. Yo, stop playing games over yo. She she ain't joking around. She a felon. Shorty a felon. All right, my boy, go over here and um and buy some some climbing gear because we finna do a little bit of uh, rock climbing today. Order some purchase climbing gear. All right, KJ, get off the computer. I don't know why you would switch into yo. See. You hanging around the wrong people. You was hanging around her. Now you're here acting wild, changing your clothes. Went to the swimming wear. Get out the swimming wear. Get off the computer, man. You barefoot in public. Go back to the thing, bro. You wilding. Embarrassing me. Hang around. Look, she got her stealing stuff. She got her wearing short clothes in the wintertime. She's no good. She's a bad influence. Stay away from her, KJ. All right, boom. So do we all. Y'all both have rock climbing gear now? There it is. Y'all both got rock climbing gear. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right to the top with Kate. Come on, right, right to the top with your dad, man. Right to the top with your dad. Let's go ahead to the top of these slopes. Let's get right. Let's go have a little fun. You know what I'm saying? It is a guy's trip. How's it going to be a guy's trip if we're not going to have no fun? Y'all ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't really vibing for real. Dude like me, I would have jumped off the top of the mountain, both legs behind my head, and I would have dove into a slid into a, the snowboard ramp like these because I'm really like that. I'm not going to lie to you. Seeing the growth of these two relationships has honestly been the highlight of this whole entire Kamar's Life series for me, bro. Because y'all remember how they were. They were literally, they weren't cool at all. They weren't close at all. They were just father and son. Now they're actually best of friends. Kamar needs a person to talk to. He comes talk to his best friend, his son. That's so cool. Offer a legal representation because at the end of the day, we still businessmen. You know what I'm saying? Look, you know what I'm saying? You can still pay these lawyer fees, KJ. Uh, go one time. We're going to go we're gonna go high intensity. I don't know if I should make Kamar go ahead and snowboard, though. You know he's an old man. Then he's going to get that mood lip raised and be like, oh, my back, my back, my shoulders, all that. <sighs> Who's this? Do none of y'all have clothes on out here? Alice. Alice, that's not you. Alice, that's you? I expected you. Okay, she put snow boots on too. Alice, I expected more from you. That's not you. Eric let you go out the house like that? Lord Jesus almighty. You can't save them all. And she going to ski too. Go ahead. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you got at least. Look at that. The woman lost her. She, she done lost her damn mind. Go ahead. Go ahead, little Alice. Let's see what you got. Butt all out in the snow, too. Got them little Debbies out in the snow. I know them little Debbies called them little cakes. <laughs> them little pancakes. Kamara got a loner snowboard from the lodge for now, but it feels a little janky. That doesn't feel great. Purchase a new snowboard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Purchase a new snowboard. Wait, what do you mean it felt janky? How did he do, though? Oh, he did his thing. He's doing his thing. You're not doing bad, buddy. For your first time snowboarding, you're not doing bad, though. Yo, you're not doing bad for your first time, my G. Oh my God, I have to go snowboarding. I'm planning. I'm planning. I'll go. Look, let me see, old man. Let me see, old man. Let me see, old man. Old man. Old man. What you got? Old man, what you got? Okay. Old man ain't bad either. He flies out of big jewels in his ear. Go ahead. Y'all ain't bad. Y'all are not bad at that. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead and give you. Go ahead and give your dad a hug, man. Go ahead and give your dad a hug. Give your dad a hug. Oh my God. Hey, you guys have that deep conversation. 
Have that deep conversation too. This is why we're here. Hug. Try to cheer him up. Try to cheer him up. Your dad's sad a little bit. Try to cheer. What are you sad about? He said, "Huh? Disappointedly unappointed." Kamar offered legal services, but got denied. Damn. It's alright, Dad. It's okay, Dad. Listen, listen, listen. I know Mom's trying to break your heart right now, but it's cool. Don't worry about her. Mom's just acting a little weird. Yeah, she acting a little weird, but that's my girl, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been together for a minute ever since college. I remember I was, I was, I was a bachelor. Then I met your mom and settled down. I never want to go back to that life, bro. Nah, I, I, I feel what you mean, Dad. I feel what you mean. But listen, maybe Mom just needs a little more from you. I don't know what it is, but you know she really wants your time right now. I know she want my time, but time is money, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, time is money. I'm already making bands. I'm doing this for the family. Why can't she just see that? She a little ungrateful if you ask me. Listen, Dad, I don't think it's too much to ask to get to get some of your significant others time. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she's wrong for that. I mean, who, who gonna pay the bills? I'm gonna pay the bills, right? I'm the only one that be paying bills. Your mama make money. Don't get me wrong. Your mama ain't no bum. But at the same time, though, I'm the one paying the bills. I'm the one that pay the biggest, this big-ass house, man. Come on. I understand that, but you know, maybe less work wouldn't be so bad. We're already well off. We got bad money. Yeah, but there's more money. You know what I'm saying? There's more money. There's always more money. You know what I'm saying? There's no way you invited me on this trip to tell me about money. Yeah, that's going to be hard for Kamar to grasp that. <laughs> that I just want to spend time with him. All right, bits and bobbles. Go ahead and buy that new snowboard thing, too. I wanted us to rock climb. That's something that I've never done. Like, I've never... I think you can mountain climb in this game, right? You can mountain climb in here. And I've never mountain climbed before. And honestly, I do think that... Snowy Escape is one of the is one of the, the, the middest packs, bro. It's like, it's so cool. It's, it's such a cool, don't get me wrong. It's a cool, beautiful pack. Don't get me wrong. But it's so mid. You come here to snowboard and that's it. They, if anything, they could have put this as a Seasons world. If y'all wanted to make, give Seasons its own world for the first time, I think. Y'all could have gave it Mount Karembi. That would have been fine. That would have been something new and out the box. Little kitty boards. Soothing injury bomb. Let me get a couple of those. You know, I got the old man here. Soothing injury bomb. Let me get eight of these. Um, let me see. Let me get two of these snowboards. Um, you know, let, let me get let me get two of these slablets too, because we got money like that, so we just buy it, whatever. Uh, let me see what else. What else do we got? Um, emergency emetic potion from burning poison stings the giant hornets. Should I be worried about that? What is this? This seems like, yo, all of this seems dangerous. Okay, I feel like if I buy this, though, that's when I'm going to have the, I'm going to have, like, it happen to me. But, you know, let me get five cans of these. Let me get four cans of these. Um, critter, crawl, crawling critter powder. Let me get, let me get three of those. I don't know what that is. Let me get three of those, too. Um, the Wayne's Bat Bane. Is it right? Anti-bat pheromones. There's bats out here. Let me get, let me get six of those. Um, neuro calming skin salve. Apply this gel after a Denkin Mushi attack. Let me get eight of those. Let me get eight of those. You know, because the stuff crazy out here. Um, throw one of the action figures in there too. Let me get an action figure. Um, I don't even, I don't even ski, but let me, you know, let me get three pairs of skis. Four thousand dollars. That's it. <laughs> that's all y'all charging. Only four thousand dollars. <laughs> hey, bye. We don't even check the price. We just swipe. You know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, he still has his old orders from high school. Oh my God, that's so cool. All right, here, equip this this wall climbing gear. Check the wall conditions, right? And then boom, one time. Climb, climb, climb normally. Climb normally because we got the climbing gear. Whoever this lady is, lady, I'm gonna need you to hop off. I'm gonna need all y'all to hop off. Oh man, oh man, pull up over here too, and get a little practice climbing session in there. Look at that. Go ahead and then oh head. Look at oh head. Look at him tired. Meter at 40%. Another thing that I wanted to touch on too is that, yo, I've been going through it. I don't want to like be that. I was talking to stream fam the other day. Like, y'all know I'd be on Twitch. I'd be on Twitch every weekend, Friday, Saturday at 8.30 p.m. Just hanging with y'all, kicking it with y'all, chilling. You know what I'm saying? Just good vibing and good vibing. But um, look at y'all. Okay. Wait, did you equip your climbing gear, Kim Kamar? Please equip that. Oh, my God. Yo, okay. No, look. You almost died. See? Oh, my. See? This is what. Oh. All right, um, rock climbing is the top. Kamar seems pretty happy to enjoy. Okay, I guess he likes it, cool. But save the game, because that man almost died. He's like 85 years old. I got him doing, this is my fault. I got him doing extreme activities. Now the bull almost died. Oh my goodness. Hey, we almost had bro pull up. My leg, my leg. <laughs> but yeah, I'm in a weird state. Weird, weird, weird position in life right now. Okay, listen, before you do anything else, equip that climbing gear, man. You're bugging. All right, one time, climb climb normally. Wait, he made it up here. What does that do? Oh, he made it up. 
And you're just gonna woo randomly? Okay, hold on. You can walk this path too. What's, what's over here? Oh, it's a way for you to go around? Hold on. What, is this a whole separate path somewhere? Take Okay, take a selfie. Take a selfie. Take a selfie with that. And then view it. Hold on. This is pretty cool. I've never explored this far before. You know what? I never really gave Snowy Escape a chance. Y'all remember how I had a Snowy Escape LP? LP? I never really gave it a chance because I wasn't really interested in the pack. It was like, wasn't much I was interested in, honestly. And that's okay. Not everybody's gonna like every pack. It's all depending on your play style. But pretty much like I was saying earlier is that I was in a really, really, really weird point in my life. Oh my Lord Jesus Christ, bro, you keep falling. I was in a really weird point in life, you know what I mean? And um, I am right now. It's so, it's so weird. Like There's a lot of things happening at once. I'm trying to make sense out of a lot of things at once and at the same time it just none of it's making sense and my mental state hasn't been in a good spot right now but i'm trying bro i'm trying I'm literally giving it every single thing i have right now what's wrong with you no woos today <laughs> from a bummer day what a biff having an imperfect snowboard run yeah yo you're out here in the nice mountains where it's snowing and you're sad you're sad and smiling at the same time make, yo, make up your mind bro but um yeah honestly it's just that's just the position I'm in right now, but I'm not gonna quit. I appreciate all you guys who leave me comments, who, who check out all my social medias, who just who just love me for me, especially the Twitch fam. Y'all help me out so much. This is why we got UI cheats. Um, Y'all help me out so much with so much things, bro. I appreciate all you guys uh, for sending me love, sending me good energy, always wanting to talk to me, and just and just liking me for for me being me. Good picture. Um, but yeah, I've been going through it, but I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna quit with anything. Let's, let's go let's go back to dad let's go back to dad let's see where dad is at he was practicing climbing the last time okay yeah he gave up good thing you gave up oh man you could not make it up there but yeah man what a vancouver day we do have another guest coming to the house I ha yo i forgot to tell y'all this but there's another guest that's gonna come to the house um and you guys are gonna see him on the next episode he's gonna come out to vancouver to hang with kamar and kj and it's gonna be an event it's gonna be an event well he or she is gonna come out and spend time with him it's gonna be an event, it's gonna be fun. Oh, the heating spring, let's go sit here, what? Relax in the hot spring, oh my God, relax in the hot spring. Who's this though, who's this though? She probably look grungy as hell. I'm act like I didn't see you, you good, you good, you good. You good, you good. All right, Um, tag Kamar, damn, that's his only friend, really? Okay, tag Kamar in that, Um, in a funny, in a, a friendly, a funny message. You made a funny tweet. That was so funny. Good stuff. The old man stepping out of his shell. You know, before you actually go ahead and do that. Okay, and he still got the gloves on. We got to take that gear off you, though. <laughs> he still got the climbing gear on. I right, removed the climbing gear. While we wait for KJ to come back so they can spend some relaxation time together, what we're going to do is we're going to get Kamar to come over here. Grab some food real quick. Um, actually, shower up, too, because he's starting to smell a little musty. Um, yeah, go go to this one here because Lady's using that one. Give her a little space, man. Take a steamy shower right there after you go pee, right, my boy? Yo, get out that hot spring, my boy. Yo, my boy, get out that hot spring, my boy. Get out that hot spring, bruh. Who? Who is that? Yo, oh my God. Yo, oh my Lord, gee, what? Who is that? No. What? No, this isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. No, that's not real. That's not real. That's not real. What? Oh my God. Yo, this isn't real. The lady is shapeshift. She's a shapeshifter. Okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. She's a shapeshifter. What? Look how she just. Whatever it is, she got it. Yo, stay away from her, bro. Lady's a demon. Lady's a demon. We finna go home. We finna go home. Yo. Pack it up. Pack it up. We finna go home. Come on. Yo, come on. Forget the bathroom, gang. We finna go home. They shapeshift us in the building, man. I'm never coming to Mount Karembi again. Yo, I'm done. See see what happens? I try to give the pack a chance, and this is what I get. There's no more. We're done. But pretty much, yeah, I talked about all the topics I needed to talk about today. And I was going to do a part of the episode where I let Tanya and Tiana try to go and talk it out. But I think I'm going to save that all for next episode. We're going to make it a whole grand event for next episode. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate you. You're the GOAT, the GOAT, the GOAT, the GOAT, the GOAT. And yes, again, I just want to say thank y'all for being patient with me. Thank y'all for, for, for being true supporters and real gangers and real twins. I appreciate y'all, man. I really do.
And you guys are on too, whether you're old or you're new, make sure to like, the comment, and the subscribe button. With that! Hey. <laughs>